So this is a Sprite Freedom 6, it's going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van you've got the jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake. We'll take you through the hitch up procedure um, when you're here on site collecting the caravan. Down the side of the van, you have your Truma heating vent on the side of the van. Um, that is essentially there to allow hot air, uh, the, the gas and hot air at the back of the um, boiler unit. And below that you've got your wind down legs to stabilise the caravan while it's on site. You'd never lift the caravan with the wind down legs as it could potentially damage the floor of the caravan. Then got your water connection coming in the side of the van. So you've got a blue connection here. You'll pull it out and push it in depending on what, what you're trying to do. If you're trying to connect the water up then you push it in and drop the pipe work in the act roll down the side of the van. You've then got your battery box and your mains power lead coming into the side of the van. Um, so you connect it up to the power on site then connect it straight in the side of the van. The wheel nut will talk while you're here on site collecting the caravan and we'll do that on both sides of the van to the correct manufacturer's setting. Grey waste pipes coming out the side of the van so essentially the fresh water goes in the front and then down the side of the van you have your two grey waste pipes that push into the side of the van and drop down inside the waste master itself. Toilet flush tank, very simple to use. You open up the cap, put in three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use. Then in the bottom, you have your toilet waste cassette, which you release by pulling out the orange handle and pulling the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out so you can tip the waste away and you've got to measure for the blue and the pink fluid with the grey cap just here. Orange button on the back of the cassette is actually a pressure relief button so as you're tipping the waste away it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. You're in that cassette you'll put one litre of water and a cap full of the blue fluid prior to use. On the rear of the van you have your wind down legs on either side to stabilise the caravan. Again they are just there for stabilising not lifting the caravan. Then have your fridge vents. Uh, the fridge vents are, are there to allow the hot air at the back of the fridge unit and to take some cool air in. And then you've got your gas flue for the fridge gas system also on the top one of those. You've then got your wind down leg on the front left hand side of the van also. So as you can see, we're now on the inside of the caravan. Above the door, you have your main control panel for the van. So you've got your power on and off. Oh, press the button on. Power will come on. You've then got your awning light, your internal lighting on the two switches below, your water pump run, and then your option on this side for changing the dimmer level for the interior lighting above the front cabinets. So the first thing you do is turn on the power and then you go underneath the bed box on the right hand side front of the van. Now underneath here you will find a yellow valve. That yellow valve is the drain down valve for the water system on board the caravan. If that valve is parallel with the floor you're able to fill the water system up. If that valve is upright towards the bottom of the seat then it will actually drain all of the water out of the system on board the van. Once that valve is parallel with the floor, you'll be able to come over to each tap on board the caravan and open them all up on the hot side. As you can see, I've already filled the water system up on this van, um, but to fill it, you'd open all the taps up on the hot side and then you'd come over to your control panel and turn on the water pump. Once the water pump's turned on, the water system on board the van will start filling up. Once the system's full, then you'll have water running continuously out of each tap, then you can shut all of the taps back off. At that point, you'll be able to start warming the water on board the caravan. So above the door, you've got your control panel for your heating and hot water. Press the central button to go into the options for the heating and hot water. And the first symbol you come to is the room temperature of the caravan. You'll press the central button or the, the dial in the centre here and then you'll be able to select your room temperature on where you wish it to be. So for instance, 10 degrees, it's quite warm today, so it's 10 degrees, and that will turn the heating on to warm up 10 degrees. The next one across is your water temperature. So you've got off, eco, hot, or boost. So if you're showering on board the van, then you'll need to use the boost. If you want hot water, you'll use the hot option. And eco is just a setting, so it keeps the water temperature there, um, so it's not warming up from cold every time. 
Again, you just press the central button, it'll bring up the option you've selected at the top. The next one across is the amount of power you have coming in from the, in, from the site you are on. So you've either got the option to run gas on its own, so you turn the gas bottle on and select gas if you want to use gas. Mix 1 is gas and 1000 watts of power at the same time. Mix 2 is 2000 watts of power and gas at the same time. Electric 1 is 1000 watts of power on its own. Electric 2 is 2000 watts of power on its own. So again, here, well, here on site we can run 1000 watts, so we're going to select the 1000 watt option. On the right hand side you have your fan option, your fan speed option. So you've got eco or high, depending on how you want to set it. And again, you'll set the fan speed to where you wish it to be. Down the bottom of the screen, you've got your timer for the heating and hot water control panel. You've got your to, um, to set the clock on the control panel. And down the bottom, you've got your spanner symbol, where there is some advanced options in there, which are normally used by the engineers. However, you may want to have a read through the manual uh, for all those options at the bottom, and it will explain how to operate them all. So that's your heating and hot water control panel and how to turn the caravan on and fill it up. We're next going to go to the fridge. Uh, fridge. Very simple to use again. You've got power on for the fridge. At the moment it's trying to ignite on gas and it's actually just failed to ignite on gas because there's no gas on board the van. So as you can see it's flashing the warning symbol, uh, the, the flame symbol and the warning symbol on the right hand side. So essentially that is the gas operation. If it ignited, you'd have a blue pile of light here and the red warning triangle would not be flashing. 240 mains, you'd select 240 mains operation on the button on the left hand side and then you can control the temperature on mains power or gas on the thermometer button on the right hand side. 12 volt mode, 12 volt mode is when you're towing down the road. Now it doesn't work off the battery on board the caravan it works off the 12 volt supply from the car you are towing with. So if you have the right connection on the car you're towing with, then you could use the fridge as a cool box so the beers and wine are nice and cold when you arrive on site. So essentially you connect to the car, you don't need to have the control panel above the door, you can turn that off. You'd come inside the caravan, select the 12 volt mode, and that would allow the fridge to kick in, like I said, as a cool box. To turn the fridge off, you'll press and hold the power button, and that is as simple as it gets for the operation of the fridge. Hob and grill, very simple to use. Uh, again, you just use the gas bottle from the front locker. No electric rings on this caravan. So essentially you turn on the gas in the front locker, come inside. Um, you do need an igniter to ignite the um, hobs and the grill itself. I'd advise you get one of those long um, piezo style um, matchsticks and then you'll be able to ignite that up and run it from the gas supply in the front of the van last thing we're going to be we're going to go through on the caravan is the toilet system now in the bathroom very simple to use you have an electric flush on the toilet system which you fill from the outside you have a toilet full indicator light that light will essentially illuminate red when the toilet waste cassette is full the toilet seat turns for your convenience so essentially you can turn it to whichever angle you like. However, when you're removing the toilet set from underneath the van, it needs to be back in the position it's in now. It has two lockout tabs on the bottom, so you won't be able to remove that cassette if it is turned. And then below the toilet, you have your grey waste handle. Now that is to allow the toilet waste into the cassette under the van. And again, if that toilet flap is open, while you try to remove the cassette, it will stop you from doing that. So that's the spree. A Sprite Freedom 6. If you have any further questions on the van, please don't hesitate to call and we'll be more than happy to help. We appreciate the business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you collect the caravan. Thank you for now. Bye bye.